best story of the night right here. A Michigan couple getting the shock of their lives when they got an alert from their security camera in the driveway. It was kind of like really unusual. I've never ever seen anything like it. I was like, wow. I mean, that is an angel. The photos are exactly how they were taken. I choose to believe it. I think it's an angel. Take a good look. Many, including their pastor, said that they believe this image, captured by a security camera, shows an angel hovering over the family's truck last week. So could it be? And in the next picture, I think we have it, it sort of looks like it has moved to a different part uh, of the, of, over the truck. So joining me now is an expert, Pastor Don Piper, who has written about his own experience. He was in a terrible car accident, and he says he died and went to heaven and came back. He is the author of People I Met at the Gates of Heaven. Pastor Piper, good to see you tonight. Um, I'm oh, pretty sure that you believe you. these folks when they say that that's an angel, right? I do. I, I, I think we're around them all the time. Uh, the Bible says in Hebrews that um, we should treat strangers uh, with absolute courtesy because we never know if they are an angel. And what that says is we ought to probably treat each other better uh, as humans. But it also says that angels are everywhere, and we may not always know who we're talking to. It could be an angel flying above our truck at uh, any time, any place, anywhere. So this was a motion uh, activated security camera that they keep right. attached to their home to look out over their driveway in their car. So they, yes. they believe that the motion of this angel that they feel they, they saw is what set yes. off the motion detector and they were able to, to trap it on, on the video, which you can do if you, if you have one of these cameras. And it is, it's a Absolutely. very stunning, beautiful image that they got. But tell me a little bit about your experience, Pastor Piper, because you were in a car crash and you say was, that you were yes. transported instantly to the gates of heaven. Tell me about that. Exactly. One of, one of the things that happens uh, at, at the moment of death, and I was killed in a head-on collision with an 18-wheeler tractor trailer truck, is that uh, we are absent from this body and present with the Lord. If we're prepared to go, I wasn't planning to die that day, but I was ready. And uh, I was transported by angels. And um, uh, the Bible says in Job that that uh, uh, that that we are transported to heaven uh, by angels to Abraham's bosom, and that's another euphemism in the Bible for heaven itself. So we go there by virtue of angels. A lot of people who are with someone who's dying feel like there's a presence in the room, and usually there is. And I arrived at the gates of heaven uh, and was greeted by people who helped me get to heaven, who preceded me in death. So I was surrounded by a lot of humans, but there were angels everywhere as well. And angels are not just little cherubs playing harps on clouds. These are robust, uh, amazing creatures. Some have six wings, some have four, some have two, some have none. But I could hear their voices and I could actually hear their wings. That's one of the things that was most stunning amazing. and most encouraging and comforting to that, me. It is amazing. And you say that when you were there, this is, I just want to put up a, a graphic of the numbers of people, according to Gallup, who believe in angels. And everybody yes. wants to believe in angels. So 72% um, say they do. And you can see the other numbers there. You say that everyone that you saw when you went to heaven was someone that you knew. They were. Um, I think the people that I did not know in this life uh, were inside. They did not come out to greet me. I think the ones I greeted at the gates of heaven were the people who helped me get there, which, of course, when I came back, um, that motivated me all the more to try to get people into heaven because I, I know those people helped me get there. And the question ultimately is, who are, we, who are you going to greet? Who are we going to greet? When we go there, I think it's going to be the people we helped uh, get there. There was an angel back here on earth when I returned. A man climbed in the car of the wreckage because he felt like God told him to. He prayed over the body, and I did return uh, because a lot of people were praying for me who did not already know I was dead. When I came back, I met him three weeks later after I recovered enough to be conscious, Amazing. and I told him, thank you. Pastor, thank you. For, thank, you. thank you for praying for me. And uh, I found out that he, he prayed for me, but I didn't know he held my hand. It's an amazing story. Um, i got to leave it there, but thank you so much for sharing it with us. Absolutely. Good to see you tonight, sir.